Hi, welcome to Leisure and Rec at Home. Today we are going to be making some artwork with some items that you can find outside and a few things that you might have just laying around your house. We're going to make these really cool yarn arts, okay? And to make that, we're going to learn a few little uh, activities with it. So we're going to learn our learning targets. So today, what you're going to do is you're going to create a yarn artwork. Thank you. you um, so that you can practice manipulating materials using your fine motor skills. So with your fingers today, you're going to be doing some wrapping. You're going to do some cutting and you're going to be doing some tying. Okay, and you're going to be demonstrating creativity because each of yours will look a little bit different. And remember, once you are done with your artwork, please take a picture and send it to me and then I can add it to my board. Um, you know you uh, got it when you create a yarn art using the steps given. And I'm going to be giving you the steps in a moment. And you create something unique to you. So, the thing, first thing is we do have the steps in the comment section. So you can just go to the comment section and download the steps. The first thing you're going to need are the materials. Now, for the materials, you can use regular yarn if you have some at your house, right? We have a few different types here. We got some rainbow kind, we got some purple. But what if you don't have any yarn at your house? What you can do is you can make your own from some old shirt or sweater that you might have. This is a sweater that I had that I got some paint on it. I cut off one of the sleeves and then I cut them into strips and tied the strips together. And that's how I made this one. This was all using the yarn, yarn, homemade yarn. You're also going to need some sticks now. You can use some skewers like I did for this one, or you could just go outside and get your own sticks, right? Mm -hmm. We went out and got these from the forest right behind us, right? Mm -hmm. And you just want to make sure that your sticks are straight, so nothing too curvy. And if you have little branches coming off, take those off. So it's just one solid stick. So that's what we used for these, this one too, all right? So today we're gonna learn how to make one of these plus how to make these little cute tassels on the ends, okay? And for ours, we're gonna be using some sticks that we found outside and the yarn that you see right here, okay? Now, first thing you're going to need are the two sticks, and we're going to take the end of this yarn here, and we're going to tie a little bit of a knot right around the center here. So we're going to tie a little knot like that, okay? And then we're going to wrap the string around five times. So can you wrap the string around five times? Right in the center, we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five times right in the center. That's just gonna keep it nice and snug. Then we're gonna turn it so it makes kind of like a T shape here, okay? And we're gonna wrap it now five times in between the T's go in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, you want to be careful with this. You don't want to poke yourself in the eye, right? Yeah. So now we have our center section all set. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be wrapping it around the little sticks as we go around, once around, okay? So I'm gonna wrap it around the first one. I'm gonna go down to the bottom here. I'm gonna wrap it around this one. 
Then I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to wrap it around there. Our side. I'm going to go now to the top. I'm going to wrap it around there. Now I keep on doing it. Just keep going wrap around, wrap around, wrap around, wrap around. And you keep doing that, making sure that you don't put it right on top of the other one. You're putting it next to it. All right. So we're going to pause for a moment as we continue to work on this. Okay. That same wrapping around. Okay, so we did, did it quite a few times and we got this. We're just gonna go around one more time. And the cool thing is when you're doing it with someone else, it's a little easier. So he's gonna wrap it around and then wrap it around and wrap it around. So one person can wrap while the other person turns. Okay, so once we get it to be the size we like, Okay, we're going to take some scissors here and Liam's going to cut the string. Okay, and then what we do is we just tie the end off. Just tie it just like that. And then we have a little bit of a tail. Can you cut off that little tail a little bit? Oh, no more. This is thick. There we go. So now we're just going to hide that little tail. And now all that we have to do left is we're going to add some tassels. Okay. I'm going to show you how to make a tassel. You're going to need a piece of cardboard, and we got an old Cheez-It <laughs> Grooves cardboard here. We made ourselves an eight by six um, little rectangle here, and then we cut out a notch. You see that? Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut a little bit of a string. Can you cut a piece? So we're going to cut this string and we're going to hold that off for later. And this, what we're going to do is we're going to hold this on the bottom. We're going to go around like this, where we're going around and around and around, but we're going over where the notch is. You see? So we're going to keep going around a few times. How, it depends on how big you want your tassel to be, okay? So let's say we just want it to be that thick. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little piece of string here, okay? Can you hold this up? Can you put the scissors down and you hold it? Okay, so you see where the notch is? I'm putting my string through the notch. Okay, so let's turn it sideways so you can see that it's String went through the notch. Okay, hold on to that. And I am going to tie the string nicely and tight. Okay, let me see how I tied it right there. And then this time we're going to cut not just this string at the end, but we're going to do cut that string further in. Yeah, right there. Yeah, we're gonna cut that string, but we're also going to cut all these strings on the bottom here. So this might be a little tough because they're really thick. Yeah, good, keep going, almost. Yeah, keep it going, almost. Okay, open up. Just a little more. Can I help you with this little last little bit? Okay. So then what you get is a tassel. And you have like a little hole at the top that you can put right here. 
on the end of your stick. And then you can kind of bring it up a little bit more. And you got yourself a nice tassel. And you just do it again for the other side. And then if you want this to hang, all you have to do is add a little bit of string to the top. Okay? You can put it on a little piece, a little a nail or tack, and have it on display. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you make one and show me it to me through email. I really would love to see it. All right, have a great day. Bye. Oh, goof. Turn it off.